Let's take a look at how update can be used to change some of our non-intensity parameter data. Let's go to Q28, enter. You can see on our live table view that channels 102 and 105 are on our guitar player, and they are there in the guitar palette that we created earlier. In this scene, however, the guitar player is gonna step down off of his platform. So we need to adjust our two moving lights just for this cue. So let's take 102 plus 105, enter. And I'm just gonna tilt those down a little. That's about where he's gonna be. Great, so we're ready to update our cue. Notice in the live display, we have some red R's on our data under pan and tilt. This means that we have a reference there, but it has been changed. Go ahead and press your update button. And as usual, you can see that channels 102 and 105 will be updated into Q28. When I press enter, those red R's will disappear and our data will be updated into our queue. Notice that it no longer displays our palette name. That's because we have broken the reference to this palette and this queue now has absolute or raw data in it instead. We have not changed our palette in any way. We've only made a tweak for this specific queue. Sometimes, however, we would want to update the palette itself, propagating the changes throughout the entire show. So let's look at how to do that. Let's say that the drum kit has moved slightly downstage and we need to make an adjustment just on channel 104. So grab 104, enter, and I'm going to tilt that slightly down onto the box. Maybe I'll pan it over a little bit. And that is where we want the light to be on the drummer for the entire show or anywhere that we've used the drum palette. In this case, we need to specifically say, update focus palette three, enter. So that palette has now been updated throughout the entire show file. To refresh the queue and get rid of our red data, we need to do a go to queue enter. The console defaults to make absolute meaning that any changes you make to palettes will be stored only in the queue and not affect the palette as a whole. If you want to update the palette, you need to specifically call that out on your command line.